training vlog number two. A couple of people seem to watch the last one, so for now at least they continue. A warning though, training vlogs are not my normal videos. They are nothing more than a collection of things that happen during the week that are hopefully interesting, but not important or significant enough to feature in their own specific video. And this week, my GoPro that follows me everywhere and sort of records what happens broke. So pretty much it's me sat here telling you what happened watch at your own peril. So last Sunday was a 10k trail run race and it started off terribly because Nixon, who picked up a trophy in his last race with me, was supposed to run it with me again and crush every other canine in sight, but instead hurt his little leg jumping over a puddle the day before, so I had to run it on my own. So in order to raise my spirits and motivate me a little bit, I dug out my old Aftershocks earphones which I'd not worn in ages, and instead I ran it with Rocky IV. No thanks. Did it help? There were 200 runners. I came third. Third. Like, on the podium, have a prize. It's in the post to trick COVID. Third. So that was bonkers. Tuesday was then in the gym, chest and shoulders in the morning, and then in the afternoon, the first Zwift race of the week. Five minutes to go for my first Zwift race of the week. I'm sort of hoping that my Zwift racing uh, addiction, for want of a better word at the moment, is in something of a honeymoon phase that will calm down because actually it's not easy to fit it in with my proper training. So for example, tonight is supposed to be a one hour interval session on Trainer Road and I'm doing what is probably going to be close to an hour, I think it's about a 36k race, race. That's not really an interval session. Tomorrow is supposed to be off of the bike, just a run day, but I'm squeezing a little 10K sprint race in on Zwift. Again, that's not really what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but I just can't resist. So um, it's all very fun at the moment, but it's something that certainly come the new year, I'm gonna have to go out of my system a little bit so that I can focus on training in a slightly more structured way than just jumping on races and having a laugh. But for tonight, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, three laps of Volcano Flat Reverse. Uh, probably going to take about an hour, I think, which will be my longest Zwift race. And uh, yeah, see how we go. It went brilliant. My love affair with Zwift continues as strong as ever. So it starts off good. I am a Category C rider. And in some races, they will start you off separate to the other categories. You just ride against your other Category C riders. But not in this race. We all started together, so I'm riding with A and B riders as well. And I start at the front. I'm up there with those A and B riders, but I don't need to stay there. Naturally, there will come a point where those faster riders break away and form their own pack, and I will lose them, and that's all right. And then here, just four minutes in, I can't hold on to those front runners, especially going uphill. And that creaking noise, by the way, is the Wahoo bike. I need to investigate that at some point. Anyway, off they go. And then at six minutes, the second pack that had formed catches up with me, but it's mostly B riders, so still the category above me. So I want to ride with them and try and get the advantage of getting pulled along with them but ultimately I don't need to stay with them for the whole ride. They are going to go off ahead and finish ahead of me. In fact, I do a lot better than I thought. Sure enough, they do leave me, but it's not until lap two, 26 minutes in, again going uphill, they start to pull away from me. Another 10 minutes on from then, we're now on the last lap, just starting it. There's me and just four other bikes. It's time to put a plan in place. Final lap. My car have been dropped by the second pack. I'm in no man's land between the second pack and the third pack. There's just four of us here. Uh, one of them, two of them are group B riders, I don't care. But one of them, Arlo, is a C. I think it's the guy in the white and black. All I gotta do is beat him. I'm happy. I've said it a few times, the secret to winning something, if you aren't actually good enough to win the thing you're in, is just create your own category and win that instead. That's exactly what I planned to do here. As far as I'm concerned, there are only two riders in the whole race, me, Mr. Lowe, and I'm gonna beat him. 
if I stop and think about the 70 odd other riders that are actually in the race that are crushing me completely and will finish miles ahead, that would just be depressing. That isn't what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking that I'm gonna win. All was going to plan until seven kilometers left and I noticed the third pack that had formed, which is consisting of mostly C category riders, so my competition, they are coming up fast. Here comes the crew. 20 seconds back, and they are shifting. We need to pick up the pace. If they catch us, I have a load more people to race to the line against. That was not my plan. So 5K to go and they catch us, and I need a new plan. Okay, they got us. New plan, new plan. New plan, beat every fucking one of them. I mean, it's a plan of sorts. 800 meters to go, and I'm 99% certain that as long as I can stay meters. up the front of this pack, I can beat everyone here. 700. Ah, oh, come on. 600 meters. This is all over. 500. Get ready. 400 meters to go, and some have broken away at the front. But 400. For a riding, I know that I am not going to sprint for more than 300 meters, so I need to hold on a little bit longer. 300 meters. Go! 300 meters to go and everyone talks about watts per kilogram being very important on Zwift. It is, and obviously if you're heavy, that's not good. But bottom line, however the algorithm works on Zwift, it does seem to reward the fact that if you can just drop a thousand watts, you do shoot forward. Come on! Come on! 80 meters to go. I am 20% ah! sure I can win this. My legs are toast at this yeah! point. This guy is right on me. Ah! I have no idea how I held on to that. And looking on Zwift power for that race, it has me down for third. Third, a virtual trophy. Uh, it's bronze and it's, it's real as far as I'm concerned. I can see it. Awesome. Oh, okay. Food. And then Wednesday is a 15k run. Wednesday morning and this week is going great so far. Not only did I get that third place back on the trail run at the weekend, last night's Zwift result on Zwift Power had me in third. I'm racking up the podiums, which is uh, almost surreal to be honest. And then what else? Oh yeah. This channel's just gone through four and a half thousand subs. Doesn't sound like very many in the YouTube world, but my kids bet me I couldn't do 5,000 by the end of the year, because in their words, who wants to watch a middle-aged bloke jogging with a GoPro? So, if I do hit 5,000 by the end of the year, I can shove that in their faces, little scumbags. And, uh, oh yeah, and the last thing, Somebody just pointed out that two of my videos had made it onto the Zwift Insider website. Top five videos of the week, twice in a row. Never heard of Zwift Insider. It's now my favorite website in the world. So it's all going well. In fact, the only downside is that I imagine if I had a proper Ironman coach, triathlon coach, they'd be saying, stop prattling about on Zwift and train the way you're supposed to, which is not racing on a computer game, because it is fatiguing. Got off the bike last night after that race. My quads were blown, still achy today. And don't tell my coach I don't have, I'm doing a 10K sprint tonight on Zwift as well. Now, given that mucking about on Zwift is not actually ideal training for what I'm trying to do long term, the outcome of this sprint race actually was probably beneficial in the end.
for reasons completely unknown, the Wahoo Kicker Bike decided to stop talking to the MacBook just before the start of the race. So I'm sat on that thing pedaling away, wondering why everyone else is shooting off and I'm just sat there looking like an idiot, uh, a very confused idiot. So I just gave up and went and ate some nutritious food instead. Piece of junk. So it's Thursday, back on the bike for a slightly more sensible training session. So last night's Zwift sprint was a disaster. First Zwift technical failure that I've had. So I gave up on that last night and went and had, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was forced to watch Love Actually by the kids for Christmas, which seems wrong in so many ways. It's nowhere near Christmas yet. I can't stand that film. I made it better by having a bowl of cashew nuts with a side of Nutella spread. Nuts are nutritious. Do not knock it too, tried it. That almost made that film bearable. It was so yummy. Thursday, new day. I'm back on trainer road following the iPad, but it's a one and a half hour boring 265 watt flat ride followed by a half hour run. So to make the one and a half hours on here tolerable, I have linked myself to Zwift, turned the control off so Zwift can't control my bike. It just takes the wattage from trainer road into the bike into Zwift. And I'm going up out to Zwift, which is a climb I want to do at some point. So I thought I'd sort of test myself on it. So just to make that clear, the bike is doing 260 watts because the trainer road software tells it to do 260 watts and that is it. The Zwift software sees that and translates 260 watts into a speed appropriate to the terrain it has me riding on. So if I'm going up a hill in Zwift at 260 watts, I will go at a slow speed. If I'm going on a flat at 260 watts, I will go faster. I'm always doing 260 watts though. What is really weird though, is that because I'm looking at the TV screen, which is showing me the Zwift world, if I see a hill, a steep hill, even though I'm doing 260 watts, my legs are doing exactly what they were doing five seconds, five minutes before, my brain thinks it is harder because I'm going uphill to the extent that I had to stop looking at the screen, just sit and close my eyes at one point because it felt too hard even though my legs are going at 260 watts still. Bizarre. It's weird in here. I'm hot, obviously, pedaling like a mad thing. But it's cold in the garage, my fingertips are cold. I'm literally wearing gloves. Maybe it is close to Christmas. And over the line, 73 minutes. So the bottom line is that 260 watts or thereabouts gets me up out the Zwift in a little over an hour, 73 minutes. The challenge over Christmas is to get up there sub 60 minutes. It's gonna take probably 320 watts average. Perfect timing because Trainer Road has got just a minute or two to go, which means I can turn around. And the coolest thing about riding up the Alp and then going straight out for a run immediately afterwards is you can leave the little rider to pedal down the hill on his own, just rolling in the dark. Okay, out of here. Look at him go. There is something unsettling about videoing a dark room with no one in it. Editing this footage late at night is um, uh, unsettling to say the least. Anyway, Thursday night I finished off by sticking some new tyres on the Trek Pro Calibre for a race I had coming up on Saturday and that then just leaves Friday. And that is it for the training vlog for this week. The tyres I fitted last night so quick and easily that I managed to get over to the gym and do a little chest and shoulder workout as well. So I'm going to go out for a ride in it now, just go out for an hour or so, make sure that it is running perfectly in time for tomorrow, get home and then prep for tomorrow's race. 
the race won't be in a training vlog because it'll have its own video. So back for more training next week. See you then. Oh, and my rocker plate for the Wahoo kicker bike. The guy that's building it for me sent a photograph of it. It is looking epic. That thing, when it arrives, uh, not far off, the end of this week, is going to rock. Rock. See what I did there? Like and subscribe, and there may well be a training vlog number three. As of the race tomorrow, that will be no more races until after Christmas, so a couple of weeks are going hard in the gym coming up. Also, still be mucking about on Zwift, probably. Uh, it is good for chugging through calories, if nothing else. Cashew and Nutella does not burn itself. <laughs>